Hey guys, today I'm gonna install an electric trunk release solenoid in my car. This is to allow the trunk to be opened via the press of a button instead of using a typical lever system in the car. Yeah, yeah, I know. You might be asking yourselves, why would I want to do that? Isn't this pretty much the same thing as using the lever? Uh -huh. And the answer to that is yes, but the reason why I'm doing it is to allow the trunk to open remotely using the key fob. Uh -huh. So right now, I'm just showing you guys the major components included in a typical trunk release solenoid kit. You have the solenoid itself, the wires needed to give the solenoid power, the solenoid output wire, ground wire, 12 volt constant wire, the bracket to mount the solenoid to the trunk of the car, various screws, nuts and washers, and of course, the button itself. So let's just connect up what we can before making our way to the car. Connect the green and black wire to the solenoid, then connect the other end of the green wire to one side of the button, and the red 12 volt constant wire to the other end of the button. Here are the tools required. A Phillips head screwdriver, a set of allen keys, a soldering iron and solder, heat shrink tubing and heat gun. If you prefer to use electrical tape then that's fine as well. A pliers, a drill with a 3 8 inch steel drill bit, and a ratchet with a 10mm spanner and a multimeter. Go ahead and line up the bracket to mount the solenoid where you want it to be. Ideally, you'd want the solenoid to be in line with the existing lever which unlocks the trunk. Once the spot has been marked, go ahead and drill the hole. Once done, use the included nuts, washers and bolts to secure the bracket in place. Make sure to understand how the existing trunk lock works in order to know how to set up the solenoid properly. Go ahead and tighten the nuts and secure the solenoid in place. Take the cylindrical wire lock and make a loop like what I did here. Then place the other wire lock somewhere before it. Take the loop that you created and fasten it to the same lever that is pulled to open the trunk. Then make the loop as small as possible and then finally lock the wire locks in place with the included screws. Next connect the ground wire to a properly grounded part of the trunk. For testing purposes, I went ahead and connected the 12 volt constant wire to the positive lead of the battery. Now that we have confirmed that it is working properly, Go ahead and cut the excess wire from the solenoid. Next, find the 12 volt constant wire from the ignition wiring harness. If you're not sure how to do that, then check out my push to start button install video to see where you can find yours. Once you've found the wire, go ahead and disconnect the battery. Splice into the 12 volt constant wire using the strippers or pliers. Connect the red wire that came with the solenoid kit to it and secure it with electrical tape. Here's where I ran the green wire into the trunk. Reconnect the battery, 
and let's test it out one last time. And there we have it guys, how to install a chunk release solenoid in your car. If you guys have any questions, comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next one.